Hi girls, today we are going to correct section review page 631. So stay with me. Number one, describe the shape of magnetic field produced by a straight line that's carrying a current. So we said that whenever we have a current passing through a wire, a current passing through the wire this current i it produces what magnetic field around the wire and we proved that the magnetic field around the wire has the shape of what of concentric circles so we can just write it has the shape of concentric circles okay with the wire at the center with the wire at the center now, number two, determine the direction in which a compass needle will point when the compass is held above a wire carrying positive charges that are moving west. Okay, so if you feel yourself that you didn't understand like the question from the first time, you can repeat it for the second time. So di determine the direction in which the compass needle will point when the compass is held where uh, above a wire carrying positive charges that are moving west so the positive charges how are they moving west positive charges it indicates the direction of what of current from the previous cha chapter electricity we know that current the direction of current it is the direction in which positive charges would move right okay so they are asking about the direction of the compass needle so this is the circle this is the compass the needle is inside it uh, the, the, the direction of the compass needle uh, 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 here of this compass which is directly above the wire okay so in order to know the direction of the compass uh, needle what should we know girls we should know the uh, direction of the magnetic field we should know the direction of the magnetic field because we know girls that the uh, needle of the compass of compass it align aligns itself with the field with the magnetic field okay so in order to find the direction of the needle inside this compass we should see, see how is the direction of the magnetic field produced the magnetic field produced, we know that it's what? Circles, right? Okay. Because a wire carrying current, it produces what? Concentric circles around it. But we need the direction of these circles. We need the direction of these circles. And girls, we said that we use the right hand rule in order to find the direction of magnetic field. What is the right hand rule? field so your thumb always goes with the current and your fingers how your fingers they make they give you that the fingers tip give you what the direction of the magnetic field now where is the compass exactly okay where is the compass exactly is it here is it here is it down no the compass is up above the wire okay this is the wire moving to the west the current moving to the west and the compass is just above so above the wire see the fingers tip they point north so the needle in this case will point north if they ask you for example about a compass here okay complete the motion of your fingers the needle will be in this shape in this direction if they ask you about a, a, a compass here complete the path of your fingers the needle would be like this okay but these the compasses here and here now it's it will not be easy to to place them on the paper because here we are working in two dimensions okay so the needle point north okay number three Explain how galvanometers and electric motors function. So this exercise or a number is very important because it summarizes the uh, galvanometer part and the electric motor part. 
stay with me. This is the galvanometer. For galvanometer, we said that we have here wire wrapped around what? An iron core. This wire is wrapped around iron core. And where is it placed? It's placed inside a permanent magnet. This is the permanent magnet. Okay. When this wire, which is wrapped around this core, is connected to source of electricity, to battery, to power, su power supply. Okay? So the current will pass through this wire. And then this wire wrapped around the iron core will be called what? Electromagnet, because it will work exactly as a magnet. You remember? It will produce around it magnetic field. Okay? It means side of it will be north and side will be south. Side of the electromagnet will be north and side of it, the other side from, the, from here, will be uh, like south. So we have like magnet and around it a magnet. So what will happen? They will interact, right? So this now electromagnet will rotate till the opposite poles attract. And if north here, it will rotate until north is attracted by south. Okay? So when it rotates, the needle connected to it, what it also moves with it, giving a specific reading. This is for galvanometer. So here I have the same thing for electric motor, but for electric motor, as I told you, I don't want the, uh, uh, here, the coil to move a little bit and stop. I want, it, I want it to continue moving, rotating, okay? Like if you have a fan, the blades of the fan, they will not move a little bit and stop. No, they will con uh, once the fan is connected to the electricity, the blades, they will keep working. Why? Because in this electric motor, the same thing, we have electromagnet inside, and uh, uh, when current pass, uh, passes through the, the coil, um, the electromagnet will produce elect magnetic field. One side will be north, the other will be south, and it will rotate until opposite poles attract. But here, when opposite poles attract, here is the key. There is a device called commutator. The role of this commutator is to reverse the direction of current. If current was moving like this, it would move in the opposite direction. Okay? And when the direction of current is reversed, the poles will be reversed as well. Okay? So for this part, to check the PowerPoint, it's easier. Th that I explained it last time. So now, what to write for number three? So both, because here we have to uh, explain how uh, galvanometers and electric motors function. So we will start, uh, start with the similarity between them. So both a galvanometer and an electric motor consists of a coil of wire wrapped around what wrapped around an iron core that spins between the poles of a permanent magnet. Okay, when attached to a circuit, the coil and the core work now as what act as an electromagnet producing so the electromagnet what does it produce around it producing a magnetic field a magnetic field that causes that causes the core to rotate
okay now i will talk about the we will write about the um difference between them so write with me please in a galvanometer the core just deflects it means like rotates to one side or the other it rotates a little and stop giving the reading or the other but in an electric motor in an electric motor a commutator there is a device called commutator causes what is the role of the commutator it causes the current to reverse or you can say to alternate let's use a new words alternate directions it means reverse the direction which in turn so when the direction of the current rever get reversed also it causes the core to what to continue spinning in one direction so this number is very important it's a, like a summary uh, about uh, these two paragraphs in one direction now number four for number four predict whether a solenoid suspended from a string this is a string what is the solenoid remember it has this shape right solenoid is just long coil of long coil sorry of wire with current inside it with current in it so when i have only a wire instead of being straight it's wrapped into uh, a coil and current is passing through it we said that this we call it what solenoid okay so can we use this now device as a compass okay what is the compass you remember compass is just needle that is the needle it's uh, um, placed on a pivot so it can rotate freely but the needle itself what is it it is a magnet okay it is a magnet okay so let's see here the solenoid the long coil of wire when current passes through it it acts like what what does it produce girls we said it produces a magnetic field that is the same as the magnetic field produced by what by if this north and this south it produces a magnetic field that is the same as the magnetic field produced by a bar magnet so here the solenoid it produces magnetic field around it so it just work as a magnet so it can align it will turn it will rotate in a way that it aligns with earth magnetic field so it means girls it will uh, have the same working of the compass what is the work of the compass from section one we said the compass when no magnet around it when the compass is alone the compass needle rotate until it what it aligns with the earth magnetic field because we said that the earth has magnetic field okay so uh, here uh, if we don't have a compass we can use a solenoid but for sure we must have a current inside it okay so long coil without a current it doesn't do anything okay so we must have the current inside it so therefore the solenoid will produce magnetic field around it therefore the device will work exactly as a compass okay now for number five A friend claims to have built a motor by attaching a shaft to the core of galvanometer and removing the spring. Can this motor rotate through a full rotation? Explain your answer. First, we have to understand the question itself. They are saying that um, we can use the galvanometer, this one, as an electric motor for a fan, for example, if we just remove the scale and the needle. Can it work? The galvanometer is very similar to the electric motor, but the electric motor has something extra, which is very, very important. What is it? Is the commutator. So for sure, no, because in a galvanometer, we don't have a commutator. So no, because of the lack of 
a commutator. So no, because the lack of commutator. Um, uh, oh, we didn't write the answer for number four. So let's write it together. You can just write here, a solenoid suspended by a string, write with me please, could be used, yes, it could be used as a compass. Why? The magnetic field of the solenoid would align itself, the ma this magnetic field of the solenoid would align itself with what? Itself with the magnetic field of Earth. just as a bar magnet would you remember also in section one we said if we don't have a compass we can use a string and suspend from it a bar magnet from north to uh, that uh, for sure has uh, both poles north and south so here the situation is very similar we are not using a bar magnet, we are using a solenoid, but the solenoid, it creates a magnetic field, like the magnetic field produced by the bar magnet. So, yes, we can. Okay? Always the field lines run from north to south. Now, number five, it's enough to write because of the lack of commutator of a commutator so this is everything about the section review